What's up guys? A big huge welcome to my channel. It is Dallas Gordon here and I am coming back at you with yet another pay hip video. A lot of my goal getters have been commenting under the pay hip video asking if I could kind of do a step by step tutorial um, with how exactly to set up your account with pay hip and how to create a product and really just how to get up and running with pay hip. Um, my other video was also a tutorial and I'll make sure to also link that video but I think that you guys are wanting more of a detailed tutorial for pay hip so what I'm gonna do to make it easy I'm gonna actually start with an account that is not my own um, we're just gonna uh, you know create an account and start that way that way we can kind of like start from scratch So for those of you who are new to my channel, once again, welcome to this channel. On this channel, you will learn business tips, marketing tips, as well as the spiritual and positive stuff as well. And success is definitely an inside out job. And I want to make sure that I'm sharing all of the crucial steps and all the steps that I've taken to reach my best success at this point. So if that is your jam, you know what to do. Feel free to stick around. So the first thing, let me share exactly what PayHip is. I'm right here at this moment on the pricing page. So this is exactly what it is, what it says on the main page. PayHip is the easiest way to sell digital downloads and courses. What I love about PayHip is that they have a free forever plan. Um, they also do have some paid plans and I'm going to share with you the difference. But if you are looking to sell digital downloads courses, you can also sell physical products as well. Um, you can you can do all that stuff right here on PayHip, and you aren't looking for the monthly price tag at this stage in your business. This is a great thing to use. Um, I would say as a business owner, especially a new business owner, one of the things that I did, I, I, I don't want to say I did it wrong because it was a part of my journey, but... Um, I wish I had done it better was when I was a new business owner guys I really really wish that I took more time looking up free tools and not spending so much money on tools because like straight through the door as a business owner I had like hundreds of dollars worth of expenses for tools so I really wish that I had stuck with tools like this for a really good duration of my business um, and you know I, I feel like at this point if it's not free I want to pay for it kind of like outright or pay for it by the year because I really don't like monthly bills at this point and I wish I had more of that mindset towards the beginning so anyway um, the first thing that we're gonna do guys is we're gonna look at the pricing just to answer questions about that it's very simple straightforward pricing basically straight across the board you get access to all of the same um, benefits with PayHip. The only difference is the transaction fees. If you do free forever, PayHip is going to take five percent of any transaction process. You know, on your store using PayHip. If you have the Plus plan, it's going to be twenty nine dollars a month. But it's going to be a two percent transaction fee. As you can see, that fee went down. And if you do the Pro, which is ninety nine dollars a month, they're not going to take any transaction fees from you at all. So if you don't mind riding with the five percent transaction fees out of your sales, you can stick with the free plan. And really, guys, all you really have to do is just add that transaction fee inside of your pricing, so you won't feel it. That's really the way that you can stay on the free plan. So you're just going to click sign up for free, and I'm going to put the link below, guys. It is going to be an affiliate link um, I don't think I've gotten any payouts at all <laughs> from sharing pay hip um, mainly because I think most people just kind of stay on the free plan so I'm just gonna pause for a second so that I can fill out this information for a test account and then we are gonna rock and roll so basically all I did was enter an email address and I created a password the first thing that they're asking you to do is to tell us a little bit about yourself so you're gonna want to enter your business name just remember this business name is going to be displayed on your store so I'm just gonna enter test store or Dallas's t-shirts or something just for the purpose of this video just so we have something and then I'm gonna hit continue so then it's gonna say what would you like your store username to be they're gonna automatically like use what you put in there so I'll do Dallas shirts versus t-shirts no I'll do t-shirts you know what I'm getting too specific here with this so then I'm just gonna hit start selling 
Okay, so now it says that I've completed 25% of my store setup. The first thing that they're gonna give you steps and what you need to do a part of this process, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to add your first product. That's gonna be the first step. So let's click here to do that. Um, let's go through what it's like to add a product, guys. It's gonna be really random. So you have choices here. So you can do a course, a coaching service, digital product, a physical product, clothes and physical goods. And like my first journal that I launched for my brand, DG Journals, was launched on Payhip. I just wanted to kind of test my idea without having to create a whole full store for it. So at first I was selling my product from here and I would do it again like to test an idea I would do it a hundred percent again and then this is like a subscription billing service that will bill people on a recurring basis so this could be used for like if you wanted to it could be used probably for a subscription box it probably could be used for a membership something like that okay so you're just gonna choose whichever one you want to go with so I'm just gonna say we want to sell a course and then I'm gonna say the title is test made a lot of sense that I call the store Dallas's t-shirts but you guys get it okay so from here it's gonna allow you to add your lesson you'll be able to name the first section you'll be able to add your lesson in here um, and inside of the lesson you can name it and these are the different things that you can do turn on discussions this is like a prerequisite, like students have to complete this lesson before proceeding. You can turn that on. You can give a free preview if you want to. And then this is how you would publish um, the lesson. So inside of the lesson looks like this. You can put your, remember your title goes here and then you can actually add video. If you have a training video, text, your assignment, quiz, all this stuff in here is stuff guys that you can do in Payhip for completely free. So you can literally add your own course in here for completely free for people to be able to log into, which is really, really, really cool. Okay, so this is just kind of showing you the way that the inside of that looks. So these are the sections in the lessons and then you can add new lessons as many as lessons that are inside of your courses you want to add you can add them right inside of here you can also create a new section as well so let's just say that section one you're teaching them how to do a specific thing so let's just say section one I want to teach you how to plan your subscription box Okay, and then in here, under the first section, I have maybe multiple 15 minute lessons. And then let's just say, I wanna go to add a new section. I can say subscription tools or something like that. And then I can save it. So now that's gonna create another section. See how this is down here. So then I'm gonna add the lessons that go under that section. Okay guys, so this is really cool. So then you can also preview it when you're ready. So let's go over to the settings now that we've added that. Okay, so for the settings, you're gonna upload a product thumbnail. It tells you that the recommended width is 500 pixels. They have it, you can automatically subscribe your customers to your mailing list. In order to set that up, you just have to set that up under the marketing page. We'll go over there. You can select if you want the product to be tax exempt or not, okay. The thumbnail is basically just going to be like the cover for your course. All right. So that's how that's going to work. And then, you know, the author details, whoever created the course is going to go here. And you can also upload the author profile image as well. Then over here under the course player settings, you can change like how things look on the course. Um, you can change the colors and things like that if you want to have it to be according to your branding, which you probably do, and you can change fonts, even the logo, and all that kind of stuff, okay? So you're free to change the branding on your course to match your branding. So then let's go over to Pages. So then Payhip is gonna give you a sales page. You can view and edit that. The sales page is where people are gonna come to read up about your course so that they can buy it. They're gonna have a checkout page. You may wanna link people directly into the checkout when you're selling the course by email or something. And then you have the, the thank you page as well, which is after your client or customer has purchased. And you can also edit that page. So the next tab is where you're gonna set your pricing. So, you know, you're basically just gonna add a pricing plan. 
is it going to be a one-time payment a subscription um, and you would have to connect your Stripe account first if you're going to do a subscription. You can do a payment plan, which is also connected through through Stripe. Or you can just do like it's a free thing. So that's another thing. If you just want to do a free course, you can also do that. Um, and then you can name your different plans and then add your plans. And I'm sure you can put different type of pricing plans in here if you want to, as well as a subscription and then reorder them if you want to. Then you have students. This is where all of your students are going to be listed underneath of your course. If you want to manage what they're doing on quizzes and surveys and assignments, you'll be able to go under here, click on your student's name and be able to manage these sections um, right here. I'm just going to go back. You have your video library. You can drip out each of your lessons as well, which basically means you may not want your whole course to be available you know, at the same time. You may want to drip the lessons out over a set amount of time, and that's what you would do with drip. From there, you will publish your course. So some of the very important things that you really do need to start up before you get started, you wanna go under settings here. And these are the things that you really want to go through. You want to go through all of these tabs to make sure that you are set up appropriately. If you want to show your social media handles on your store, um, you can go ahead and put the links in here and save your settings. Okay, if you want to enter your payment details, which you're going to need to, okay, for some things that are not reoccurring, you can link your PayPal account if you would like to accept payments through PayPal, I don't suggest doing that. I would suggest just operating through Stripe. I feel like PayPal has some really unfair policies when it comes to sellers. Um, and there can be a lot of scam happening through PayPal with people buying your stuff and then disputing and winning. So I feel like Stripe, it's easier to prove your case with them. Um, and to me, it's just a better payment processor in my opinion. And you wanna make sure that you enter your statement here which is gonna show up on your customer's billing statement, you wanna make sure that that matches your business so that when people see this purchase come up, they know who it came from. Um, that can help you to avoid a lot of disputes. So we're gonna skip over that. This is your tax section. This is your shipping section. If you are shipping physical products, you are gonna to need to add your from address. You can always use like a PO box or something like that if you don't wanna put your personal address or your virtual address. And then you're gonna to need to add your shipping region. So are you gonna be shipping worldwide or are you just gonna be shipping from the US wherever you're located? You wanna add the regions that you're actually going to ship from here because if you do not do that people won't be able to purchase physical products from you on PayHip. so once you add that region you're going to decide whether or not you want flat rate shipping free shipping order weight order total like how do you want to calculate your shipping so if you want free shipping you would click here for me normally it's flat rate when i ship physical products and then you can just say flat rate um round shipping or whatever the method is you can choose the price that you want to charge and then go from there you can choose whether or not you want to charge a per order per item then you save that now you have your shipping method set so pay hip makes it super easy just to get set up this is really really not hard all you have to do is follow the steps depending on which type of um, thing that you want to sell so these are different advanced settings. I'm not gonna go through those and I'm not gonna go through these other settings. This is just according to how you want it. Um, like for instance, do you want sale um, notifications every time your product is sold? Um, your Google Analytics, your Facebook Pixel, all these things are here and you can customize that back here, okay? Your developer, there's also space for your developer to do some fancy things here, okay, or what have you. So. I'm not going to go over those, but I just wanted to kind of show you. So when you come into PayHip, this is going to be your dashboard. Your dashboard is actually going to, you know, change as you set things up um, and probably give you an overview of what's happening with your store. This is where you're going to view all of your products. As you can see, the test product that we just created shows up here. You can also embed this product into your blog or somewhere else if you want to by sharing this link. 
this is where your store is going to be so you're actually going to have to launch the store builder to actually create your pay hit store um, you can also write blog posts on your store and actually have a custom domain as well um, which you can do from here so your store you're just going to launch the store builder like this by clicking and like i said everything is laid out for you step by step to be able to do this so all you really have to do is follow their instructions and you want to make this look really really nice so this is where you will put your header whatever your product collection is is here you can add different sections here to your store so this is different stuff that you can do i mean you can create a whole website in here with testimonials your logo list your newsletter facts um, your feature collections and products and all that stuff you can do it in here and make yourself a really professional looking website right inside of PayHip. you just got to play around with it and keep previewing it on different devices so that you can see what it's looking like so from here you will go to your analytics your analytics are basically going to tell you how many people have viewed your store how many sales you got for the day um, so total sales unique customers total orders and total views your top 10 visitor sources is going to tell you where your visitors are actually coming in from, which is very important data and where they're coming in from. Okay, so this is really, really awesome that you can see this on a daily basis so that you can see what's working. And then underneath marketing, you have access to create coupons instead of in, inside of PayHip social discounts um, for social media you can have affiliates inside of PayHip. Um, this is where you're going to connect your mailing list these are the ones that they have here guys a Weber campaign monitor convert kit drip these are all the ones they have they have pretty much all of the main ones for the most part you're just going to connect your email service provider you go inside of your email service provider to get your api key paste it here and save the details that way you can connect your products to different lists that you have on different um mail um email applications and things like that then they have products that you can cross sell so that means that when they add a certain item to their cart you will be cross selling them or suggesting another item that you have available for sale as well and you can do different deals and things like that okay and then this is how you incentivize your customers so that they can share your products you can create your referral program right inside of here so I would say guys I would give pay hip an a plus I hope this gives you an idea of what you need to do to get started if you guys have any other specific questions about pay hip please let me know in the comments and I will do my best to answer them or if we need to dig deeper into other videos I will definitely do that so hopefully this will help you get started pay hip is completely free you can do so much inside of here i mean my god you can have a whole membership a whole school a whole suite of products you can manage your clients um your your payment your billings and all that kind of stuff right inside of here and you really really don't have to pay a monthly fee to pay hip in order to do this the only thing you have to pay is if you're going to be on the free plan is of course that five percent fee when you make a sale and please also consider when you're doing your pricing that if your um, pay hip is connected to Stripe or PayPal, they will also charge fees for processing as well. So you want to consider all of those fees when you are pricing your products. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for listening in. You guys be blessed. I'll see you on the next video.